Welcome back to another Sound the Car Guy video. Today we are going to install the heat shield for the Mazda CX-50 made by Corksport. So let's get started. One of the first things we're going to need is a piece from the factory airbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get to where you can take this piece off. With the assembled box, what we're going to do is we're going to undo this latch and this latch. We'll then lift and pull off the top, showing to us our filter. Now, if the filter is stuck, you can get it out with a flathead by pushing in right under this clip until it pulls up. I already did mine, so mine was easy to come out. Put that somewhere where it stays clean, and that leaves us to an open box where we can see, it might be hard to see with the light, but it has the ability to twist. Now in order to twist it, we're locked right here. So we're gonna lift that over that little lock and twist it until that part comes off, just like that. Now we're gonna move to the heat shield. This is the Mazda CX-50 heat shield. So there are two holes, one here and one here. This one right here, that part we just took off, right here, it's gonna go inside just like that. And what that's gonna do is that's going to allow nice cool air from outside to go in and go to our intake. So now let's move to the next part, which is with the car. As you can see, I already have my intake installed on the vehicle, so we're gonna have to take that off so we can slide the heat shield in. But the heat shield is going to slide in and sit here and here. And then you're going to screw in back to where the factory intake was. We have the two screws here from when we did the job, if you look at the last video we did. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off so that we can put on the heat shield. To remove the filter, we're gonna use a deep socket 10 millimeter and loosen these. Once you have it loose, just gotta work it until it pops off. And once it pops off, you will pull straight up on the mat and pull that off. With the wire still connected, I'm gonna be careful so that I don't tear it up and I'm gonna set it right to the side just like that. We have our box that I'm going to set down for a second and pull off the two screws right here, which this will screw into. These are also 10 millimeter, so if you want to use your deep socket, you can, or you can get the skinnier version so that way you're not up high.
now we have those screws off we can pick up and bring it down move that out of the way One thing I forgot to mention, there is another grommet inside the airbox that you can pull off and put into the heat shield that goes over this little pin right here that we will go through and put on because that should be put on correctly. Now that that's in, we'll put our screws back in here. Just like such. Take our math holder. Slide it back in, put the grommets back over the spot, push in place, make sure the wires are out of the way, get that back connected. Just like such and then tighten back down. And then it's in. The perk of having this is to help keep the temperature cooler going into the turbo. According to Cork Sport, it drops the this heat shield drops the temperature by about 10 degrees. So thank you for watching, and I hope this video was useful.